It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Being sent another beer by beersofeurope.co.uk. Largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beers from all over the world. Check out the link in the description box for a link to their website. Here we go. Here's the beer they sent. This is from Belgium. It's a bottle of Bavic Export. It's 5% ABV in a 330 milliliter bottle. There's the bottle cap. And it's been brewed by Brewery de Brabandia. And it's the bigger brother of Bavic Super Pills. Let's get this bottle out into a glass, see what we get. Little bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. Don't imagine it being bottle condition, but it was worth that kind of little swirl round just to just to make sure. We got a three finger white head, lots of carbonation rolling from the bottom of the glass. It is indeed a clear looking export style lager from Belgium. Uh, we got a widget on the bottom of the glass here, etching on the bottom of the glass, which is creating that extra level of carbonation. I don't mind that. I generally drink my lagers pretty quickly and it knocks some of that carbonation out of it really quickly. With that etching, it's going to take a lot of that carbonation away very, very quickly, faster than a glass with no etching in. Uh, let's get the aroma then on this amber, clear amber coloured beer. Oh, really, really lovely. Mmm. That typical, right, I'm reviewing this in June, June 2022, this beer review is being done. And woke up this morning, we had a bit of rain in the night, but the sun is out this morning and it's crisp out there, it's beautiful, it's lovely. And I'm just thinking to myself, this is a perfect beer for that crisp summer morning. Spicy, peppery, drinkable. Sunday afternoon drinking in the beer garden. Perfect. Really, really lovely. Spicy, peppery, bitter. A little bit of lemon. A little bit of kind of light wafer biscuit malt coming through. Yeah, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Superb. Superb. Really, really lovely. The emphasis on here is all malt lager. That's, if you ask me to just bring out one short sentence to describe this beer, it would be all malt lager. Taste it. Taste it a mile away, that quality, bready, wafer biscuit like malt coming through slight nuttiness a little bit of sweetness over there on the side gives way to a little bit of bitterness on the back end which we'll get to now carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth releases more of that flavor Clean, lovely, clean drinking lager, export lager. Oh yeah, I mean, almost want to kind of, I've got a mini miniature barbecue and I'm almost kind of tempted to, you know, after a few sips of this, uh, you know, chuck a, chuck a banger on the, on the, uh, on the barbecue, get the barbecue going and, mmm, get a sausage, get a, get a German, Frankfurter or something on the 
kielbasa from from Poland. I like the fact that I'm already thinking about a second, even though I've just got the one bottle. I'd love a second of this. And I tell you what I'd like to try is their Super Pills. I'd like to try this company's Super Pills. Now, Beers of Europe send us, let's talk about Beers of Europe for a little moment here, because they've been sending me beer on the channel for around about 10 years now. Um, big supporters of the channel, nine, maybe nine, 10 years. And... It's beers like this that Beers of Europe specialise in. The box came through, add a little rummage through the box of 12 beers that they sent. And this was the beer that piqued my interest. It's got a classic European beer look to it. But you can almost tell, well you can tell, that it hasn't been taken over by a big company like Heineken or Carlsberg, AB InBev. You can just, it, 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 it's just, you know, this sits in, 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 another story I'd like to tell you is I went to the Netherlands-Belgium border and I brewed a beer with Brewery de Dr. van der Coroner. About five years ago now, four or five years ago. And I stayed in this lo lovely little kind of quaint Belgian town which borders the Netherlands. So, and, and you're in and out of the Netherlands. In this town, it's a funny town. You're in and out of the border. Sometimes you could be in a shop and you're in the Netherlands. And then you could be back in Belgium. All to do with tax. They'd lock one door if the tax was higher in one country and they'd use that door to the other country. Um... But anyway, um, I was what I, the, the, the owner of Brewery, the Dr. Van der Coroner, took me to this bar one night and he said, you've got to try this Belgian lager. This Belgian lager has been brewed in this country, in this region for a number of years. And it's just the locals drink it. It's just the locals lager. And I tried this lager and it was spot on. It was just spot on. It was perfect. I can't remember the name of it now, but it, it was a little old lady who must have been running this pub for like, I assume, it looked like 60 years. It was like stepping back in time. And these bars were all over, all over Belgium. But anyway, this has that similar feel. This Bavic export has that similar, whatever part of the region they're from, um, I'm not sure if it says on the back of the bottle here. Um, Bavic, Bavic Hove. Here we are, Bavic Hove. I reckon the region of Bavic Hove in Belgium, I reckon this, this probably sells, this is probably the number one lager. And if you asked me to talk about this lager last week, two weeks ago, I didn't even know it existed. Didn't even know it existed. So even after drinking well over 8,000 beers on this YouTube channel, there's still little secrets to be had. And that's what I love about reviewing beer on YouTube, is that you'll never, ever run out of, of, of beer. You'll always find these little hidden gems. Love it. So, yeah, check it out. If you've been to one of these countries and you found a little hidden gem of a beer, and you want to try that little hidden, hidden gem of a beer, then you might find it on beersofeurope.co.uk. Fab, 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 fab. Um, really good. I'm ready to rate this one then. Good head retention, good levels of carbonation, light amber colour, good aroma. Just a solid, solid taste. All malt lager, that's lovely and balanced. I really like it. I like it enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.